What the fuck's going on, YouTube? Cloud Beast here. Just want to show you a quick little wicking technique. You'll be able to do something like that. Show you how to do that real quick. Simple. Learned this from a guy, the Angry Pirate. He just came back from California and showed me. I was quite intrigued by it. And I'm going to teach you how to do that in just a few minutes. Cloud Beast out. Alrighty guys, some things you're going to need for this brand new wicking technique that I learned. You're going to need obviously Japanese cotton. I'm going to use my Del Secchi's mod with a tactical warhead as our example. See, very nice. You are going to need some scissors to cut and my very favorite dental tool. Alrighty, so real quickly, this is really simple, just takes a little bit of patience. What we're going to do is we are going to not cut this like you normally would. When you do your regular builds, you take this and you usually cut like that. And yay, you're good to go. Well, we're going to use this entire piece for both sides of our wick for the Addy. Alrighty, so what we're going to do, the first thing is you're going to peel the top and bottoms off. It's kind of the crunchy part, so we're going to make some happy little clouds. Yay, see that's gone. Bob Ross. <laughs> Bob Ross in the house. And then we're going to take this side, so the top and the bottom. So then what you have is the middle, yumminess. And we're just going to kind of soften that up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start to pull this apart. And you can kind of tell because you can see there's vertical stripes in it. And you're going to follow that and just pull it apart just till you can almost barely make out your fingers on the other side. And you're going to try to make it pretty, maybe two times larger. So you're just very patiently pulling, pulling, tugging, pulling, pulling, tugging, pulling, pulling, tugging. And what I found is by doing this, you're making a lot of little channels for your juice to absorb into. So as you see, we've made it twice as big. So here's the initial size that it was, was that, and we moved it to that. Alrighty. So now we got it looking like that. And if you can see, it's still very light and fluffy. We're gonna take the top edge and just peel that off because it is kind of on the rougher side. And we're gonna take the bottom edge and peel that off again, just like such. All right, and we're gonna pull it apart just a little bit more. There you go. All right, now we're stuck with that. What we're gonna do with this, which is really light and fluffy, we are going to roll it. And we're just gently gonna roll it like an old school cigarette. And you have to be very patient with it. So as you see, we're just rolling, rolling, taking our time, not looking for perfection, just rolling it out. Very nice, kinda of looks like a crazy looking joint. Alrighty, so there's that. Now, what I tend to do is I'll take the bottom and the top, the two ends, pull them off. Put them in, oh, come on, get the fuck off. So now you're left with this. Now we're going to roll this in our hands very gently. And while you're rolling, you want to take your fingers and kind of press them out. So you want to push, push gently to get the effect that we want. So we're gonna roll. And it's gonna end up getting a little bit harder in the middle there, which is fine and it can do that. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. And there we go. So you end up looking like that. And if you notice, you see how we get that one little knot there. So let's roll that part out a little bit more. Just press it up. And there you go. All right. Now we're going to take it from the middle. And we're just going to pull it apart. Just like that. Now we have two equal sides. And I'm just going to roll each one individually. Just, there's one. There's two. All right, now I'm gonna take my Addy, which has been cleaned out, and I'm just very nicely going to 
put this right in there. I think it fits very well in a larger build. You want it to be kind of loose, just a little bit. Oh shit, things rolling everywhere. Turn this around, do the same thing on the other side. Sometimes if you need to wick, what you're gonna do is you're gonna twist it, pull the wicking in, and then you have to actually twist this hand too because that helps get it into the coil without pulling, stressing. So I recommend kind of doing opposite twisting so this way you're good to go. So now we have both in there. And like we did before with the handlebar mustache technique that I showed you in the basic build, we are going to snip, snip that, put that over in our trash, snip, snip over there. So you look like that. Now we're going to take our favorite dental tool, which this thing I love. Um, you can pick these up at medical supply shops. They have them. Um, also, you can probably find them at Walgreens uh, or one of those CVS kind of places. So then we're looking at that and we're going to do our handlebar technique again, tucking and plopping. Now remember, this is a little thick. All right. So what I also want to do is I want to plume the end just a little bit. All right, so by pluming the end, I'm kind of pancaking it so then all the juice can absorb into the bottom. So I very quickly did that. And then did that on this side. Like such. And there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and juice this up, which is a little bit different technique than you would normally do. When you juice up any wick, you want to think about getting the juice absorbed into it. And like you would do on a standard coil when you're doing a coil build, you pretty much want to let it sit for a couple minutes. Same thing with this when you're doing a, a build uh, on a dripper. So I'm going to mold again, just like I told you before. You want to mold it to get to your perfect handlebar. See, so that looks really nice and clean. Just like that. Really good. We're going to do the other side. Really nice and clean. Kind of give it that mold. Make sure you have no stragglers. Because if you have stragglers in your Addy, it kind of makes it chinky when you try to take it on and off. So that ends up looking like such. Both sides. Let that sit for a few minutes and give it a nice clean fire. All right. So let's do it again. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or anything you want to see built, feel free to, well, bombs away. Feel free to hit me up on Gmail at cloudbeast12 at gmail.com. Um, or you can find me on Instagram at cloudbeast12 on Instagram. And uh, that's about it. So there's that. And now you can hear that's, that's pretty good. Now the cool part about this is I'm going to do this one more time. And we're going to fire it. And we're going to see how many times until we get a dry hit. And usually, I've been testing, I don't know on this Del Secchi's because this thing's pretty much rips, but usually I'm getting about 8 to 10 horks till you get a dry hit. So let's go ahead and try that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, oh, there we go, 21, 22, about 22 presses, and you start to get a dry hit, which, if you look, they're still, still somewhat saturated. That's pretty cool. So, the Angry Pirate did a great job on demonstrating for me how to build this for you guys. So I give David props to that, and um, so there you go. Pretty gnarly way to uh, do a new wicking technique. All right, so you guys be safe, chill, get off the stinkies, and vape on, brothers.